How you doing guys? Dan Cashman here at Trim Solutions. Going to work on the job site a little bit today. Going to install one of the garage door kits and show you how quick and easy it is. Today I'm a little short-handed, so I got a couple blocks I made over here to act as my helper. So hang out, check it out. What I'm doing here is I'm just putting these up here to space out my three-quarter inch jam so they'll slip right in and just act as a, another set of hands for me. This is how they all come wrapped, everybody. Everything's nice and protected. Pretty easy, huh guys? So once you get it in your opening, we gave it a little clearance. So you wanna push it to one side? See what you have, what we left for clearance, and split the difference so you have the same amount on both sides. Once you do that, simply nail up. Push up with your arm. Make sure it's nice and tight. Nail the flange. Now we're actually gonna shoot a nail through our PVC but it's gonna be all the way in the back, and our garage store stop will hide that once it gets installed. Simple as that, everybody. Now we're just gonna nail the top off on our nail and flange. Push up, make sure it's up. We're just gonna nail every other hole. Okay, now we can take down our boys here. We don't need them anymore. And that's how you install the top. Now that our headpiece has been installed, it's time to measure our legs and get those installed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the length from top to the bottom, obviously. Write that number down. And this is a very important step here. A lot of concrete floors have an angle to them on the outside here to make the water run off. So what I did was I measured from the top down to the back side here, and I've got that measurement, and I'll mark that on my side. But if you notice when I take my square, I put that down, look at the difference here. So we're gonna wanna take that measurement and mark that out of square when we come to park in our sides. So here we have our legs. They come pre-wrapped real nice once again to the job site. Simply open them up and determine which is your left and which is your right. The top of these are pre-notched, so that's what's gonna tell you what the left side and the right side are. The only cut that you'll have to make is at the bottom. This is the side for now. This one here happens to be for the left side that I just measured. How do we know that? Because on the face of your casing, your nail flanges run along on top to tie the two together with the top, and this is your extension jam. Now, we're gonna hook onto the top of the jam where we took our measurement from that was abutting the headpiece there. So we're simply gonna mark our measurement We're gonna make that mark on the back, and then we're gonna make a light mark in front. And when we measured the bottom of that jam over there, we noticed it was three quarters of an inch out of level for water runoff. This is when you add that three quarters of an inch. And simply square across the front. That's 
grab this baby and put her in place. Simply gonna install your top first. Stop. Yeah. So you got your set all set up, your joint all set up, you're simply gonna nail every other hole on the way down on the flange. Once you're done nailing the nail flange, you're gonna go ahead and nail your extension jam just like you did on the top. Just make sure you nail far enough and back that your garage door stop will cover it. When you install your side, you want to ensure that your side flange of your jam is underneath of the head flange piece. That way there, if water ever was to get back here, it would run down, go over this flange, because this flange is going to get taped by the siding guy. Water will run down, it'll run over this joint and down. If it was like this, water would have a possibility of running. With this being taped, it had a possibility of water back running back there. So you want to ensure that your top flange is always over your bottom flange.